This is Dry Creek Park. I am walking. Um, it's the first thing I do every morning when I wake up. I change and I go on a walk. I push myself. Well, I don't. Uh, the Holy Spirit helped me um, because I've been saying it is no longer I who dwells in me, but the Holy Spirit that dwells in me. So I come out here and I pray. I hear nature. Look how beautiful it is. I breathe as well, breathing, oh my God, breathing, guys. I cannot emphasize the importance of breathing. Breathing air, inhaling and exhaling. It is so good for your body, for your mind and for your spirit. It is so important to breathe. No one ever told me this. Like, I know maybe, maybe you, to you guys, maybe you guys know this already, but to me it's new. I didn't know this, you know, as I've been sharing with you guys, you know, I am a former foster child and I have been working since I was nine years old. So I've been living in survival mode all my life and I'm barely kind of getting out of it. And, and I'm starting to see things from a different perspective and it's like, wow, like breathing. I didn't know to slow down and breathe. No one to told me the importance of what it does to you. Oh my God, when I breathe. It's um, a different, you know, I don't know if, you know, if you guys have been in addiction, but it's like a different kind of high, you know, it's like a mental you know, but it's a healthy one because you're with God and you're breathing. And when you breathe, you're relaxing. You relax your body when you breathe. Your muscles relax because your body is made out of water and oxygen and muscles and blood. And when you breathe, the blood flows better. When you breathe, your body feels better, you know, and if you're having a headache or whatever, breathing. I cannot emphasize breathing. Or if you're having an anxiety or a panic attack, I know it's hard. But like right now, I'm starting to feel anxious. I'm starting to feel it right now, but I'm not going to give into it and I just breathe. I hold any negative thoughts captive and I bring them to the obedience of Christ Jesus and then I continue my, with my day. You know, I continue to stay positive. It's kind of hard to go negative when you're looking at a beautiful place like right here. Look, those are homes over there. And then you can hear nature. Morning. And then you see people. It gives you a motivation to keep going and keep pushing. But my ha hands get tired, so I have to shake my hand. Like I'm shaking this hand right now because I have to rotate my hands. My arms are get tired from holding stuff. So I rotate my, my hands and I shake it off. And I breathe. So that's why I, I don't really do videos of me walking because my arms get tired fast and I have to rotate them and shake them off, shake off the pain. You know, walking is the only exercise I can do right now that it's not, you know, it doesn't create more trauma to my back and to my neck and to my head, you know, um, but it keeps me motivated and it gives me hope. You, you don't have to walk fast. You can walk slow. You can walk at any speed as long as you're moving, you know. 
it helps. I'm telling you guys, you know, in the last 10 days too, oh my God, check this out. So in the last 10 days, I gained 10 pounds, 10 pounds, because they put me on an antipsychotic medication called Cyprexa, that one of the side effects is weight gain because you eat a lot. And I swear I was eating so much. I couldn't stop eating. I tried, but it was like such an addiction where I was like, nom, 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 nom. I couldn't stop eating. So, and I will, and, and then it also like gives you like lethargic. I was lethargic, like lazy. Like I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to lay down. You know, I had no energy. I had no motivation. It's weird. It was like a dark, like, I don't know. I didn't like how I was feeling. So I went to the doctor yesterday and I told him that I didn't want to take that medication anymore. So he switched me to another one called Depakote. You know, that's just that mood stabilizer because like I said, they're, they're, I don't know if I said it to you guys or not, but they're, you know, my clinical diagnosis is bipolar disorder with PTSD and social anxiety. So um, that's so far what I, the doctors are classifying me as. But in the real world, well, in the spirit world, I'm going through what a lot of people would know as a spiritual warfare, you know, deliverance. I went through it, you know, I'm getting better. I'm learning about the renewal of the mind, about staying positive, about doing, you know, and things that I didn't know. So now I know better. <laughs> but I do these videos as a way to journal too, to remind myself where I am, where I was, where I've been. Because like I said, I don't live in yesterday. I don't live in, in, in you know, I don't live in why. Why did this happen to me? Why, why, why? You know, I don't live in that. I don't live in, in, in yesterday. I don't live in tomorrow because I don't know what tomorrow holds. See, my neck's starting to get tired from the phone. I see it now. So that's why I have to do short videos. Um, starting to hurt. Um, I'm going to start the video, stop the video. I'll probably do one from home. But anyway, just wanted to share with you guys how walking helps. Walking is, you know, has helped me to overcome a lot of things. But we'll talk later. God bless you guys. I love you guys. May Jesus be with you guys. Bye now.